Hello everyone, it's Rod and uh, due to the circumstances we're not going to have a, the traditional uh, weekly tarot readings because uh, in Europe the situation is pretty bad, uh, kind of like I had to pretty much fight for my meal uh, in the last couple of days uh, but it's kind of like calming down right now. Uh, if I have to say, we do have just only one case for the last 24 hours and it's kind of helpful, you know, that the quarantine is actually giving results. But anyway, so in this uh, video, I'm not going to bother you with the condition into Europe in terms of the coronavirus and all that. But instead, um, in this video, I'm going to make a forecast for the 12 star signs for the week uh, and it will be three cards per star sign uh, as brief as possible. Okay, because uh, I'm behind schedule and it, it was a deliberation. Should I salvage those readings or should I do them? And if I do them, am I going to have time to make the monthlies? So I decided in, fa in, decided in favor of the monthlies. So I have enough time to perform the monthlies and the next weeklies as um, as they should be. And kind of like cut those short. Um as much as possible so that being said um, I'm not gonna shuffle the tarot deck and uh, we're gonna start from Aries moving all the way up to Pisces three cards elemental dignities uh, tarot spread and um, another thing now we are two weeks locked at home um, so why don't we use the time so everybody who is um, interested into having a tarot course with me you can put an inquiry uh, on through the contact form uh, on the website which is uh, going to be listed down below um, there you're gonna down below I mean there uh, you're gonna find a link to the website and if you're interested into having a once again tarot course just put an inquiry through the contact form and depending on how many people are interested in I'm gonna decide are we gonna have a tarot course or not <clears throat> apart from that uh, in the very front page of the website, in case you are interested in a personal reading, uh, you can purchase one and as soon as you purchase it, within 24 hours, I'm going to contact you with the details uh, how the reading is going to take place, depending on the uh, on the version of a service that you have purchased. So that being said, uh, we are moving to the first star sign, which is to be Aries and uh, the first card for Aries is going to be the Two of Wands, uh, accompanied from one side with the Five of Wands, and uh, from the other here is going to be the Queen of Pentacles. So uh, those three cards. Now we do have a, a very interesting combo here uh, in between these uh, these couple of cards. It is a active neutrals. And uh, what it does point that uh, you Aries are yet to find out um, where your capabilities lie. So the Queen of Pentacles does refer to unexplored potential, but because it's next to the Two of Wands, it does mean that you are that you are unaware where that potential is. You don't know about it, and it usually resides in a different field or in a different. Um, it's kind of like in a different activities as well, or within different people, if we are talking about relationships, okay? So if you do have the chance throughout the quarantine and you are one of the lucky ones that are not kind of locked at home, you may try to decide to socialize in case you are single, okay? Or just work different stuff if you kind of like don't have found your career path up until this moment. Because with the two of ones, uh, the card itself points that you do have a good potential and that you, that you have achieved a good result up until now, but you don't have to stop here, okay? But rather you can expand on them and now is the time to kind of like polish and refine and as well push forward going beyond the limits of your expectations because with the five of ones from the other side it does point that this week is going to give you a lot of opportunities to do so because the five of ones it refers to um turnarounds unexpected surprises well it is surprises so they are unexpected but they can be capitalized uh, i'm kind of like uh utilized in a way that you can grow instead of feeling it like a mayhem and like a, a, a like a chaos around you 
okay? Uh, because with the two of wands and the five of wands, if you are smart about it, and if you are, uh, how can I say it, um, calculative, you can definitely reverse uh, things that you find bad or rather like things that you do find deteriorating into a something positive and into something productive as well so uh just long story short for you aries uh you have to try to figure out what you are good at that you are not capitalizing on throughout this week or whom you can be with that you are not capitalizing out throughout this week and just do something about it so next one is going to be taurus and just let me shuffle guys and we are i'm gonna draw for taurus Okay, so first card for Taurus is going to be Five of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Four of Cups. And after that is going to be uh, the Hermit. So Taurus is, uh, you are going to have a lot of things to tackle with in the term of, um, how can I say it? A, um, well, in general, things that you have not expected that are going to, is not even bothering you, but let's say occupying your time. Now that comes from these couple of cards here, okay? That you maybe thought that your week is going to be extremely peaceful and that you will have nothing to do uh, to, to a stage that you can be completely bored from the week. But you are to be surprised how many endeavors you can, uh, you can attend to and how many, how can I say it, enterprises you can take participation into as well. Now, the week is going to be very potent for you to achieve a short-term success, okay? And definitely work out issues that you could not have the time to adjust with or to attend to up until this moment. Uh, however, because we do have the Hermit next to the Five of Wands, it does point that it's not going to be something significant as well, okay? So these... Uh, these enterprises and these endeavors you can capitalize on just to have a good time, okay, or just to um, kind of like supplement the positivity into your week. But if you decide not to do so because you are lazy or because you're not feeling like it, okay, or just because you are in a depression from that quarantine or whatever, you, are, you should not feel yourself obliged to do so. The point of this reading for Taurus is that you can have quite a dynamic and uh, how can I say it, exciting week in terms of love and in terms of career if you want to do it so. But if you want to sit on your couch and just do nothing, this is what you can do as well. It is entirely, entirely up to you, Tauruses. Uh, so <clears throat> just to finalize here with, uh, with those cards, the week is going to be as good as you make it to be, Taurus. It is just, you know, it will, it, it will require an initiative from your behalf, okay? Um, another thing it is that I like to touch with, uh, with these cards, it is that you shouldn't be, uh, you shouldn't be stubborn in terms of uh, is something working out or is it, is it not working out? Whatever that's not want to work out for you, uh, it, you, you have to post own it for the few for the future i mean because maybe right now is not the time for that thing to work out but it's it time it's time is going to come around now maybe after a, a couple of weeks or maybe after a month so just don't kind of like be stubborn if you will but try to make the most out of the time that you do have so that was about taurus now let's move to the next one which is to be uh gemini So first one for Gemini is going to be the Nine of Swords, accompanied from uh, one side with uh, the uh, Sun card. And uh, from the other is going to be with the Tower card, so like, uh, like this. So you, Gemini, are not going to have a pretty good week here, for what it seems. Uh, now, 
I, it does look like you're gonna feel like you have been stifled, okay? Like you have been stopped. Just when you had your moment, your moment have been taken away from you. That is, this is what you are gonna feel for numerous reasons. Uh, now, the thing, however, with those cards, it is that uh, your grace is to be restored at some point into the future. And what is happening right now uh, to you, either in, in term of career or either in term of relationship, it isn't something that you can die for or that you should die for, okay? Or that you have to scratch away like a, uh, uh, like a loss. That is because the Nine of Swords and the Tower card, so those two cards are amplifying one another and it's more like a freaking out about what the situation is and are you, are you will be able to go through it and even survive through it, if you will. Uh, now, if I have to give an example about the Tower card and the, um, uh, and the Nine of Swords, I kind of like... Um, resembles uh, when someone has a crush but it's not sure what the other person feels toward them and they feel like they're gonna die if that relationship does not happen so it's it's with that kind of a magnitude this kind of an emotions are gonna swirl within you and it is because with the sun card here from the other side of the nine of swords uh, it's like <clears throat> it's all or nothing you know you will know what kind of a happiness you're gonna have uh, if that thing works out but it is because it's not working out right now or it is not at the stage that you would like it to be uh, you are afraid that it's not gonna work out and therefore you kind of like are gonna lose the most substantial thing into your life that is just within your mind though I'm not saying that that is the most substantial thing into your life now, what is happening, however, throughout this week is that you are undergoing a transformation which will allow you to recognize what, you, what true happiness is, at least according to those cards. And as soon as you do so, <clears throat> then you are going to realize that the true happiness, it does require some efforts from your behalf as well, okay? And as soon as you do make those efforts, well, then the true happiness is going to come at your behalf also. So um, as much as you would may want to fight that crisis, if you will, you shouldn't, but you should embrace it. Okay, so if you have a crush on someone, for example, embrace that crush and just do something about it. Okay, just face that fear of denial, because this is what the Nine of Swords really says, if, in case you do have a crush. Okay, so you do have a crush and you are afraid that, that person is going to deny you and therefore you're not showing your affinity or your emotions if you will and you are sitting in that position that you neither have a relationship neither you're free so it's like you you just have to get it done okay get over with it and uh, if it happens happens if it doesn't well someone else or something else is going to gift you a happiness maybe not this one but someone or something else. Uh, the Nine of Swords as well with the rest of the cards, it does kind of resembles also fear of a loss, especially if you are finding yourself in a very good situation right now with a good job or with a very good relationship that you may be afraid that you are gonna lose it under certain circumstances, okay? And that will be once again within your head. Uh, these cards are not pointing that you're going to have those circumstances. It's just you're going to have these um, kind of like you might uh, these fantasies of the doom and gloom. What would happen if you lose your husband or your wife for one or another reason, or if you lose your job and so on and so forth. My point is that you are going to think the worst throughout this week, and that is going to have an impact upon your readiness for action and as well upon your um, in generally ability to enjoy life so moving next uh, we are going to cancer <clears throat> so for cancer the first card is going to be the the uh, king of pentacles moving next this will be the hierophant 
and then we do have the magician so definitely we're talking about the person here that appears for you or that stands out uh, cancer and that person appears to be a mentor of yours or someone that really gives you a very sound advice and benevolent support in general whatever issues you do have when you share them with this person i mean verbally when you share them with this person and when you talk with this person about those issues um, and problems you do have uh, a resolution will be found within the existing framework for example, you do have a financial issues. Well, that could be a financial advisor for your business that is suffering from all that is happening within the world, okay? That gives you a very accurate and good plan how you are to revive your business after the craziness is over, okay? That is just for a, an, an example. Or uh, you are feeling, uh, let's say, uh, depressed. Well, that could be uh, your friend or a, uh, a psychotherapist, you know, or a member of your family that talks with you and really boosts up your spirit the thing is here that you do have someone that steps in here throughout this uh, throughout this week cancer that gives you something to hope for or a, a, a thing that for you to place your hopes at which will help you to lift your spirit and to believe for the that the best is yet to come and that itself is gonna push you to start planning and i mean start planning big with that person though uh, that is shown here into the king of pentacles and the um oh my god the empress card uh which points that you are to detach uh just with this person okay so you, it's like secluding yourself just with this person to think about what you can how you can maximize you know whatever resolution you came up with with them in regards to either your career to either your relationship or your life in general so uh just long story short here guys it is that you do have someone that comes to your aid that is going to help you virtually with everything that you do that you do struggle with or you're going through as as long as you are listening to them of course that's how can i say it? that's uh generosity I should, should not be kind of like a mistaken with a charity, okay? That person does not do it because they are, are fools, but because they also have something to gain. Luckily for you, it's not a direct gain, but a circumstantial one, what I mean, or collateral one. What I mean is that through your success, they gain something, but not from you, but from the situation itself, all right? So you can fully capitalize on that door just as long as you listen to uh, that person you know once again it could be your business advisor banker friends or a family member or just you know your beloved one as well that wants to help you with whatever you are stuck at throughout uh, this week so moving next uh, we are having leo Okay, so the first card here is going to be the Queen of Swords, um, accompanied with the King of Wands, and then we do have Two of Wands. So for Leo, for you, we also have a person, but this one is very harsh, and it kind of likes, uh, how can I say it? Well, they're not going to like what they are seeing in you, because they have so best, better, I'm sorry, and they want to see the best in you okay so this person is someone with um if you will with a whip that it is kind of like not exactly encouraging you but it is more like pushing you to do stuff all right because they are trying to feed up your ambition for one or another thing and they cannot stand seeing you wasting your time with things or with uh, in generally we're just sitting around if you will not doing anything for example or kind of like occupying yourself with a the wrong stuff and not maximizing your potential so the, because the queen of swords is someone who is very capable to push things through and it's also deprived of emotions and deprived of feelings everything that the queen of swords is care about it's results 
And the thing is that you are not getting the results that you deserve, which means that you are going below the average or below your capabilities up until now. And that person steps in and it helps you to push your things through or in other words, to make steps toward your agenda, to mesmerize someone or to enthrall someone to be with you, for example, to resolve big issues into your career or to be successful into your career and etc. etc. But uh, because we do have the two of wands as well next to the queen of wands, uh, the queen of swords, excuse me, that person sees much more um, in you as a capabilities and as a potential than you think okay and uh, the situation could be just like that that you are baffled why this person is wasting their time with you well they aren't it is because they see much more than you actually realize that you do have so what i can say here it is that you may expect a proposition for a job right a proposition for a cooperation in generally throughout these uh, throughout these couple of months um a suggestion how to improve your business, your standing, your relationship as well. Are you going to get the the, uh, the advice? Well, that is entirely up to you, okay? But in general, this person knows what they're talking about. They know how to get it. And it's entirely up to you. Are you follow their advice or, their, or are you going to kind of like uh, want to receive their help? It will define how productive you are going to be throughout uh, this week. But I do suspect that we're talking here mainly for a career and that will be someone who will help you to kind of improve your performance in regards to your job or if you are under quarantine, how to make money in different ways. Uh, next one, it will be uh, Virgo. So for Virgo, we do have the Sun card moving next is going to be the Tree of Wands. And then we do have the Four of Wands. Actually, this is going to be a very positive week for Virgo, believe it or not. Uh, so first of all, we are talking about resolving arguments in between people. If you have been fighting with a friend recently or you are on the edge with someone that you love, well, these arguments are going to be no longer. I mean, a settlement is going to be achieved in between you and that person. Not to mention that the sun and the four of wands, it does point that. How can I? Well, it's very difficult to translate it. It's like you finish up with something, you cash in with that thing uh, or on that thing, and then you move on to the next one, which is the next level of the previous one. OK, so it's like, uh, for example, uh, you are in a relationship, you finish up that relationship, you cash in on this finish and then you engage with the person. It's like jumping on to the next level, but with uh, which is the four of wands. But with the sun, it's like the natural follow up of what you had before. OK, so we are not talking about something new. We are talking about definitely about the next step. And that is further um, consolidated here with the Tree of Wands, which the Tree of Wands, it does point that you are sitting on a established patterns and foundations. OK, and the next natural or logical um, growth is to challenge yourself to move to the next step. It's, it's a very, how can I say it, coherent reading here or coherent cards that are falling with the sun. So the sun, which is the prime card, it does point to expanding energies of growth and natural unfolding of a situation, which, sit, which sit, sits, excuse me, next to the four of wands, which is the uh, successful completion of a cycle of life and jumping into the next cycle, which is the next level because it's a natural unfoldment, which sits next to the three of wands that it is sitting on, on a uh, established patterns and challenging yourself for getting more. OK, so long story short here, Virgo those cards 
could speak for the prerequisites you need to get the promotion. Those cards could speak for the situation you need to propose engagement or to get married, to have a child, to uh, expand on your business, to add new versatilities or varieties, excuse me there, like, for example, new services, to show that you are better into something new, into your career, new, 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 it is what we do have. And if love is what you are lacking at, well, those cards are kind of points that uh, you do have someone that kind of shows interest in you and you got to show to that person that you are now open to try it out. Okay, so that, that's what those cards are pointing. Where I'm coming from for that? Well, established patterns. Remember, you do have a good friend. That's a good friendship. It may be just more than a friendship, but you both need to challenge yourself to understand that the cycle is over of the friendship and now it's time to think for something more. So moving next, uh, we are going to have uh, Libra. All right, so first card for Libra is going to be the Seven of Wands. Uh, moving next, we do have the Six of Swords. And then we do have the Magician, <clears throat> those three cards for Libra. So uh, you will have to do some uh, rather uncomfortable actions and uncomfortable decisions, if you will, throughout this week, because those actions and those decisions, it's uh, they are going to, uh, how can I say it, improve your circumstances. But in order for you to do them, you will have to step outside of your comfort zone. Now, the thing is that um, there is to be exact timing when you have to act throughout this week in term of career and in term of relationship as well, okay? And you need to keep your eyes peeled when that timing is coming around, okay? And you will constantly need to be, um, I don't think that the expression is on your guard, it's more like being ready for action, you know, having that readiness within you to jump into performance as soon as the timing is correct. Well, all those cards are a active friend, so they point that under the right conditions and the right circumstances, you will be able to show what you are made of into your career. So you all will be able to impress your boss, your supervisor, but you have to scope the moment. Okay, from that is coming from the magician and the seven of wands. In other words, you will be able to negotiate what you want for example, and you will be able to get what you deserve as well or appropriate to your actions. But you have to once again, a scope the moment when to demand it. And uh, from the other side, which is the seven of wands and the six of uh, and the six of swords, those two cards are pointing that there will be tiny moments of window that you can do something which once again goes outside of your comfort zone, which is going to improve your circumstances drastically in term of career and in term of relationship just to give you an example here uh, an ex that you want to reconcile with it kind of tells you how bad they feel well that is the time where you show support okay and maybe that's exactly what your ex needed to consider a reconciliation seeing that you are the only person that is there for them that is just for an example. But once again, the moment is going to come on its own accord. You don't have to force it. You just need to keep your eyes peeled for it, right? And you need to have that readiness to jump into action, which will be something that you are going to find a bit awkward or like something that you are feeling uncomfortable with. Uh, so moving next, uh, we do have uh, Scorpio. So we do have the nine of pentacles for us moving up it's the full card and afterwards that is to be the death card now that's very interesting so we are gonna have a decision to make here scorpio are we gonna move into something brand new or are we gonna stick with 
what we have already what we are already doing in terms of love and love relationship or uh, and career and change it okay so this is the thin line here we shouldn't do the same things over and over again but kind of like readjust it however it needs to be the same thing instead of jumping into something brand new and as i was uh, as i'm telling i just finished the reading that kind of like had the same answer okay it's just th there were different cards but it was the same answer uh, and uh, it revolves it, it regarded a career and the the client pretty much asked that should they keep up with this career or not and the card said that they have to change something within the career they can definitely put more services in there that is going to attract more clients but they should not change the career same thing it is what we do have here so this week for a scorpio it is about leap into development in term of either career or in term of either relationship or maybe into both but leap within the framework that we are working into right now meaning uh people that we know in term of uh, relationship so we may we may have to try uh, making a relationship with someone that we already know instead of hoping of someone new and someone new really it's not an option right it's just we are all locked up uh, and um, in terms of business, same thing. We should think of how to expand our um, our services or our performance. And also we need to start thinking of what is outdated. Because the death card here shows that there is definitely things that are outdated and we need to change. We need to simply cut them short or rather like sever ties with them, right? and replace them with a new fresh for example services with new fresh ideas if you will because th th that could um, refer to ideas we may have an ideas for our job or how we are going to tackle with the project but those ideas really aren't working out very well so it's time this this reading shows that it is time for us to just leave it be abandon those ideas and um, simply you know replace them with a new fresh ideas but in generally these cards are pointing that we are on the right track okay with our life and with our suitors and in generally with whatever we are doing it just our performance and how we tackle with things it does need readjustment and that readjustment or how we have to make that readjustment is going to come throughout this week don't try to figure out don't try to figure it out right now because the death card this it's going is going to be a natural process what i mean is that we alone are going to see what does not work out and what does and uh, what we have to release in general okay and it's the only thing from us that it is requested here it is to have the readiness and the determination to release it because in some cases we may not we may know what we have to release but we may not be okay releasing it but we have to so that was about scorpio now moving next we have sagittarius So first card for Sagittarius is going to be Three of Swords. Moving next, we do have the Four of Cups. And afterwards, that is going to be the Hierophant card. So those uh, those three cards, guys. And it does look like that uh, you are, your trust is to be betrayed here. Uh, these cards are generally speaking for that... Uh, how can I say it? That you are to be disappointed by someone or something that you have placed a great hope set okay um generally those two cards here that we do have the hierophant and the tree of swords uh they may refer to uh finding out that things are not as they as, as they seem within your relationship or within your career or in general within your life in certain fields of your life that something is not right that something is not going the way that it is supposed to go and that you have been lied 
because the tree of swords it refers to a painful truth uh not just uh, it could refer to a painful truth about the situation uh, that truth maybe because you have been deceiving yourself up until this point but because these two cards are a active enemies they do not um they don't have a symbiosis in between so the hierophant cannot thrive here and it means that things are completely unnatural okay and they are completely against what is supposed to happen and uh, the only way how you can fix those things is just accepting that it ha it is what it is okay and you just can't build up from now on you can't fix what happened back in the days uh, I don't want to be a bad prophet. That is a sentence that we do have within uh, our country here. But um, those cards could very well speak for a fair. Okay. Or that you have been deceived that you are going to get promoted and someone else, it is actually going to get promotion. Okay. Or uh, someone may promise something to you and you have uh, you have uh, kind of like bet a lot on that promise and that promise you may find out that that promise is not going to be fulfilled as well so be prepared for some rainy days in term of kind of like trust in sense of that your trust is to be betrayed and uh, the four of cups to the three of swords uh, it's a very interesting combo here Sagittarius it does represent that it's not going to be that severe okay that you can definitely uh, ignore it in a sense of that you can find happiness elsewhere as long as you don't allow those negative thoughts to twist and tangle within your mind it's just you find out about it and you try to keep your mind occupied with something else so I said a fair but that will be in a very very extreme cases just because we do have the four of swords here we have if we had for example, Nine of Swords, definitely, okay, or Ten of Swords even. Well, Ten of Swords, it would have been even more grimmer than that. But with Nine of Swords, definitely. With, for example, um, Five of Swords, indefinitely, okay, definitively. But uh, with the Four of Cups, it does point that probably it's about hopes, that you hope that things are going to develop in a certain way and you are finding out that it's not possible, oh man, so I have to figure out something else right now, okay? And you kind of like put your mind into work here to understand or find out what else you can do and how to salvage the situation. Once again, it's very important not to give yourself into the negative thoughts here because if you allow them to twist, tangle and dwell within your mind, uh, you are going to find yourself very, very lost into the situation. So moving next, uh, we are going to have uh, Capricorn. So we do have the star card for Capricorn from one side, next is going to be the chariot and afterwards we do have the death. Wow. So pretty significant and um, it's about decision because uh, both combos here, this one and this one, they are a active neutrals. So what those cards here point that is that, uh, first of all, they say that whatever you do have right now at your disposal in terms of, for example, family or relationship or a job, it's a treasure. And if you want to develop it and to reach a extremely great heights, you can do it. Okay, It will require devotion, it will require unconditional support, unconditional love as well. And you need to keep up with your high ideals with it as well in order to make it work. But you definitely can, uh, can make it work. So, for example, if you recently started a relationship, you can definitely make that relationship a long-lasting one. However, there is another side of the reading here. With the other two cards, there is different option available. That is by a long shot, but it definitely can work out as well. That could be a third party, you know, that is trying, you are, they are trying to be with you or you are trying to be with them and it definitely can work out, but it will require an, an immense effort. That is because the chariot card, it's about a, a triumph against all odds. So it refers to that you got to put really 
how can I say it, extremely hard work, uh, even harder than you think you are capable of. And the death card from the other side, it kind of points that uh, you have to, how can I place it? Um, you have to be a completely different person than what you usually are. Because what you usually are is the star card and it's not compatible with the death one that it prefers to the chariot card the points that you can win against all odds to the peripheral thing that is alternative uh, future of yours than the future that, that you can actually unfold at that particular time it could refer as well to a new job okay that you if you put an immense effort into it kind of like impressing you know the owner of the business you can definitely have that job but that is going to be a, a different path career path of yours than the path that you're walking right now and this path that you're walking walking right now definitely worth exploring as well so it will be a major week major decision for you capricorn are you going to keep up with the good fortune of yours or you or you're going to bet on all or nothing because this is what it looks like to me that you are gonna bet all or nothing in the other version of your future and you will gonna hope and you are gonna hope for the best the choice is entirely yours my friend uh, my friends and as I have a very good friend uh, one of my best friends Capricorn um, Whatever uh, they are standing in front of, I really hope that they make the right decision. Uh, uh, well, it really depends. Are you a gambling type? To me, if that reading was for Scorpio, I would definitely stick with the star card because the star, because in this particular case, the card promises you stability and uh, uh, it pretty much uh, promises you that you know what you're fighting for while the other version of the future it's kind of like a uh, it's first it's uncertain okay yes you're gonna win but you're gonna win what because the death card points that it's not gonna be uh, something that it makes you be being the same person as you are right now right so um I, once again, it does depend on you finding yourself happy, guys. Uh, if you are finding yourself happy right now, you should completely kind of like banish the idea of, uh, of a, a different version of your future. But if you are completely miserable, well, definitely it works then trying to put the effort to change your, uh, your stream or your future in general, because you're going to have the chance for it throughout this week. So moving next, uh, we do have Aquarius. Uh, Three of Wands is the first card that we do have for you guys. Moving next is will be the Ace of Pentacles and then it is uh, the Five of Pentacles. So those uh, three cards, the two combos, uh, active neutrals once again. And uh, so what those cards really are pointing for your queries, it is that, uh, how can I say it? You are to reject being uh, say satisfied or rather like embracing the current situation whatever that situation is all about career or relationship wise and uh, you are pretty much going to try to make it work and you are you will be able to make it uh, to make it work so instead of uh, uh, relying you know on uh, the universe itself to give you the resources or rather like the situations from which you can use them as a fulcrum or as a, a trampoline to make the things to work out you alone are going to um, make those predispositions if you will to for example fix your relationship or to be productive into your career as well uh, here we are seeing a, a, a exceptional creativity from your behalf of being able to push yourself beyond your limits and uh, increase the growth in your life i don't know how exactly to uh, explain it but the cards here i would try to say it in a more um ob not objective but practical way uh, 
whatever you are going to be able to resolve a lot of problems throughout these weeks uh, throughout this week excuse me problems that up until now you may found overwhelming because of their uh, quantity not quality but now you are going to roll up your sleeves and you are going to just get the job done and instead of um, kind of like hoping that you are to be gifted an opportunity you are going to create that opportunity for yourself career or relationship wise so um, uh, these uh, these particular cards are pointing that instead of hoping that things are going to develop the way you want them to develop you are going to make the things develop the way you want them to develop and uh, ultimately at the end the results the result of this week it is that you're going to have your situations exactly the way you want them to be okay so they your expectations my point is throughout this week are to be met completely not because um you know you have been given to be that way but because you made it to be that way uh, i love those cards though because they point that things does not belong to the one because they are meant to have them but things belongs to the one who can take them and you definitely can take what you want throughout this week aquarius so uh but it will require some challenges though you have to challenge yourself you have to challenge your capabilities your ego uh your communicational skills as well so uh if you want to for example impress your boss you gotta challenge yourself and do things that your boss does not expect you to do okay yeah if you want to be with someone you gotta challenge yourself and once again try to catch their attention with something that you are unknown for up until now we are talking about a new set of skills that you gotta show or new sets of uh, um, representation of yourself that uh, you gotta shine with here the things that you are known with are not going to impress anybody and the last one that we do have here is going to be uh, Pisces So first one for Pisces is going to be uh, the um, Magician followed by the Star card and moving next we do have the Six of Pentacles. So guys, uh, well, uh, throughout this week you are to maintain control over everything. Obviously with those two cards, active friends. Uh, it seems that uh, throughout this week finally you are going to have the right conditions here to... Uh, fulfill your ideals and to fulfill your criteria in general you know and to chase a long-term goal if you will in term of career or in term of uh, relationship or maybe into both however in order to do it you will have to make a very solid structure in a sense of that everything needs to be maintained everything needs to be within your control and you will be able to establish th that control and this itself is going to show you or kind of like presents you as a very reliable and responsible person which in generally could speak to your boss well that is our guy or that is our girl you know that is going to be able to manage with whatever crisis we are going through right now or it is demand for the job right but also those cards here point that while you are doing a tough job or rather like while you are making an, an exceptional performance you also have a lot of time for yourself as well because that is very common with the emperor through structure and through organization that you're going to exert into your deeds career or relationship wise you also are going to find you are going to find a time within your schedule to have for yourself uh, as well and instead uh, because we do have the six of pentacles next to the emperor which points to a active neutrals now instead of uh, relying on um, not relying but hoping let's say for a uh, unexpected good fortune the good fortune it will be created by you so it's like completely diminishing the uh, chance of a luck positive or a negative within your relationship or within your career as well hence uh, ending up in a kind of like a, a 
not an era but uh, let's say a period of a turmoil here where things were unstable kind of baffling uh, and insecure as well uh, getting a grip over them so meaning getting a grip over your career life or over your relationship life or over your life in general and giving it a direction and this direction is going to be a long-term direction it doesn't get any longer than that these two cards should you maintain this structure should you maintain the organization here should you maintain your control over it ultimately at the end you're going to reach your goal this is what those two cards are promising but throughout this week guys it is where you start and exert the control and as long as you can maintain it once again ultimately at the end maybe in a year or in a couple of years if you do maintain the control over it you are going to reach the destination you want so that being said uh this was uh, the prediction for the week uh which week i forgot to say it's uh 16th to 22nd of march 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can uh, decide what kind of a service you want to purchase and additionally to that uh, if you are locked up like me in a quarantine and you kind of like don't have anything to do or you're bored of things that you do and you want to learn tarot shoot me with an inquiry if you're interested into having a course with me and depending on how many how many people want to do it we can uh, form a group or two and uh, just you know learn to read tarot uh, so that being said that was all for now for me and hopefully we're going to see each other around until then Bye.